Hi guys, got another video here for you. This one's on how to reinstall a system restore on a Windows XP machine. Now this has been requested a fair bit and people say that they've had problems getting it working. Uh, either they've had uh, problems with the actual system where it doesn't work or it may be a case that you've been infected with malware and it's corrupted the actual system restore part. So let's uh, get started and I'll show you how to do that. So what you're going to need is a Windows XP CD with Service Pack 2 or Service Pack 3 embedded into it. Or you can slipstream it in yourself. And if you just want to replace the actual file itself, then you can use a Service Pack. If you don't have a Windows XP, you can just actually uh, put in the uh, .sys file inside uh, Service Pack 3 or also Service Pack 2. You can download those off the internet. It's not quite the same process. So let's get started anyway. So the first thing you need to do is go up to my computer and then we're going to go up to tools and then we're going to go to folder options and then from there we're going to go to view and then we're going to go to show hidden files and folders put the dot in there and also we're going to take the tick out of this hide extensions to known file types and then I'm going to click OK. OK, you can see I've got my DVD, uh, Windows DVD in there already, my XP one there. So what I'm going to do first is go to the C drive. And I'm going to go to the Windows directory. And now you can see a folder in there called INF. It's slightly greyed out, and that's because we've shown that file now. We're going to go into there. I'm going to push S on the keyboard to take me down to the S's, because that's where we need to be. And uh, what I'm looking for is this one here, System Restore, sf.inf. Okay, now make sure you've got your CD in the actual DVD drawer there. So I'm going to right click on this now and I'm going to install. You'll get this box popping up like so. And what that's asking for is, is the actual file. Now, as you can see, it needs it off of Service Pack 3. It will still work. But um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to click Browse. And uh, we're going to go to the actual CD on the uh, drive there. You can see that. And then we're going to click Open. Uh, I Sorry, I386. And then we're going to go on this one here. Okay, you can see that file. That's the sys file. Okay. And now we're going to click OK again. And now it wants to say yes to this. Let it do its thing there. Click OK. If you can't, if it doesn't work, we're going to click on this one as well. Click open and then OK. And it will want to do an actual restart on the system now. OK, so I'm going to quickly restart. So we'll just let this start up. And there you should have your system restore reinstalled. Now you may get a message coming up on the screen saying this is not the same as the one that you're using. It's older. And that's because if you've got a Windows XP Service Pack 2 disk and you've actually got the service pack free version on it will say it's older that you're trying to replace it you can still replace it or you can come to this location here where we've got service pack free here and service pack 2 uh, downloads you're going to need 7-zip for this okay so you need to make sure you've got 7-zip installed and then you can open the archive up and uh, what you want to do is go into the i386 folder and then you can keep pushing S until you come down to these files. Okay, and you're, what you're looking for is the SR. Which is this one here. Now you just need to drag that onto the desktop there. You can close that off now. And this is the file. As you can see, it's an SR.SY underscore. So you just need to rename that really and put an S on there 
like so and that's now our system file that we can use and that will be in this location here Windows System32 and then we're looking for drivers here like so and inside there you'll see the actual file and that's the file there okay now you can delete this file that's gone if you wanted to and let me just put this across here I'm going to right click and then copy this file and I'm going to find a little bit of space there and paste it inside there just that little bit of white space there and then go back and you'll see it it's been replaced okay and now as you can see the date is now changed it will be a newer file on there as well so if you had an older file it will be 2006 something like that there if it's a service pack 2 and then your service pack 3 will be that 2008 and that's how you replace uh, and install system restore okay now there is files that were enable it may be a case that the registry has been changed and you can use files like these uh, registry edits to actually do that and also there's tools free tools that you can download off the internet called re-enable and this is a, another little tool that's pretty useful and all you need to do is open that up take the ticks out to what you want to do now these these types of tools are really valuable if you've had infections on the system and you want to re-enable certain things that the uh, the malware has taken off okay and all I'm doing really is taking the ticks out of the stuff that I don't need and just leaving it into system restore and this will re-enable it okay so what you need to do if it's been tampered with in the registry you push this button and it will fix the actual location there and make it all work again because you've just replaced all the files and that's how you repair or install a new copy of uh, system restore on windows xp i hope this answered your question so my name is brian from brightech.co.uk i hope you enjoy these videos if you enjoy these videos guys please remember hit that subscribe button to show your support and also rate and favorite all my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more videos in the future so if you enjoy these videos and you want to put a request in send me a message on YouTube and uh, or on the forums and I'll do my best to make that video for you okay guys see you later